View model properties like numbers can be used to control lots of properties from our layer objects. In this case, I'm going to create a view model called position. I'm going to create two properties of type number, one called x, the other one called y. And I'm going to connect the x position and the y position of this rectangle to these two properties. So first, connect x to x and then y to y. Next, I'm going to link the view model to the artboard. The view model is called position. And now, if I play my animation, the rectangle adopts the values of x and y. So now, if I move and change the value of x and change the value of y, those values will be reflected on the position of the rectangle. On this example, I'm going to create a new view model called circle. I'm going to add two number properties called start and end. And I'm going to connect the trim path start and end values to the circle properties. So right clicking, data bind, I'm selecting the property, start to start, same thing, data bind, end to end. Now, again, I'm going to link the circle view model to the second artboard. And I'm going to start this time with end value as 0 0.5. I'm going to play. And now we can see that the end and start of those properties are reflected on the start and end of the trim path. So if I change this to 0 0.75, 0 0.1, the trim path changes accordingly. On this third example, I am going to connect the gap value of a layout to a view model property. So once again, I'm going to create a new model. This time, I'm going to name it layout. I'm going to create a number property, name it gap then connect my artboard to this new view model, then select the layout gap, right click, connect it to the gap value, and play. Now if I change the gap, the layout gap will be following the 